What's up, everybody? Welcome back to JR Sneaker Show. I am JR, and today I got something very cool for you. So these just released this past weekend. Uh, they released on the Nikes app, uh, the Nike Sneakers app, I mean. They released on the Foot Locker app. You could also have picked them up at uh, Foot Action, Champs, bunch of bunch of retail shops. Um, they sold out within the day. Um, you might be able to find some pairs sitting on shelves. Uh, from what I've seen, it's just smaller sizes. So these right here are fire. Um, I personally love them. Um, I think this is a, a really good looking sneaker. I don't think they're going to resell for a lot. This is going to be one of those ones that probably just sits around that 250, 260 mark. Um, it might go up to 300, but it's probably going to take some time. So right now, if you want to get your hands on them, you can still maybe find some at some retail shops. I know Finish Line had a couple pairs last time I was up there. Um, but if you want to find them on StockX, you can go to StockX and find them. But, um, you know, you, you're going to pay a little bit of resale, but not a ton of resale right now. So you can probably find them for like that $250, $260 after checkout. I know the, the purchase price shows like $220, but by the time you pay all your fees and all your taxes and everything, then you're, you're right up to that $250, $260 mark. So thankfully, I was able to get my hands on a pair. Um, I got a pair of size 10 on the uh, Foot Locker app, and I hit on a pair of 10 and a half on the Sneakers app. So um these right here personal pair going to the toe um right here so you got the jordan box so you one thing about i wanted to point out a, a lot of these jordan boxes are showing up damaged um like my cool gray 11s had it kind of smashed in box you see like there's some stuff going on there so you know i guess it's just the shipping wars huh but right there there's the tag right there like i said this is an authentic pair these came from, uh, I picked these up at Foot Locker uh, in Austin, Texas. This is Air Jordan 13 Retro, black, court, purple, white, um, size 10. Um, and the code on them is DJ5982015. So without further ado, let's get into the shoe because I know that's what you came to do. Let's get right into it. These are nice. I, I really like these. I really like how they did these. So first of all, let me... Hit you with that shoe ya right there. So these are clean right there. They got the, the hologram, that Jumpman hologram right there. So that's actually one of my favorite things about a 13. Um, and then you got the 3M right there. So if I turn off my uh, my light right here, you can see it goes dark right dark but yeah so you can see um the little dots right there and what's really cool is when you have the light on there it's like a reflective so it's got 3m those little dots that you're seeing those are actually 3m reflective dots that are built into the sneaker so uh this is the left shoe right here you can see on the bottom it's got the uh the purple like purplish bluish kind of jump man on the bottom right there and then it's got your uh carbon fly fiber shank plate right there um and then it's got this really good traction pods so jordan 13s are one of the best sneakers uh to play basketball and to hoop in so if you have a team, you know, and you, let's say you play basketball and your team colors are purple, this is a perfect shoe for hooping. So if you want to get these um, to go with your, you know, your school colors, this is this is the one to get right here. Um, you can see right there, it's got the leather on the toe. Um, not bad, not bad. And then right here, if you flip that on the side, it says 13 on the back. So they only did that with the retros i don't think they did that with the original jordans but and then you see it's got a like a suede it's like a new buck tongue and it's got the purple jump man on the front um and that's the back so these are the 13s um the backstory on these is jordan wanted a, a sneaker that 
so he got the nickname at one point like uh the black cat and so uh i think uh reggie miller gave him that name but don't quote me on that one so um he wanted some sneakers you know and so he wanted these to you know to look like a panther so the bottom actually looked like panther paws and so that was a that was a big thing right there that he wanted to go for and then the eye right there so that was the eye of the panther right there so um you can see right there so speaking of black cats the um the black cat fours if you can get your hands on those uh those are going for a lot of money right now i wish i had i would have had a pair of those but i like these i really do i personally um want to keep these right here for the collection um you can see there's a little bit of like a factory defect right there it's kind of like an indention so always check your pairs at the store see if they can um you know swap you out for a different pair if you pick up you know at the store so this is the left shoe right here um and then here we go here's the right sneaker right here but i really like the way these came out you know just that purple hit on there um it's just something different uh that you don't see on a 13 and it just like it really goes together like you know these are the prince 13s so yeah so i think these are these are clean rest in peace prints um but yeah i think these are awesome awesome these are the purple rain purple rain joints so but yeah i like these really excited i picked these up i i i, I mean i never thought i would see a purple 13 jordan high um but i guess they're starting to mix and match all kinds of colors you know i know this was a pe at one point i know a couple people in the nba that wore jordans you know had a player's edition of these sneakers i just can't remember off the top of the hand um but i don't know if garnett was one of them kevin garnett but i don't know go uh let me know in the comments se section if you know um but yeah these are i think these are really cool um like i said you can pick these up still probably if you go to your, your local malls and see what they got on the shelves um if not, like I said, go to StockX and see if you could still find a pair. Um, but uh, pretty good suede on them. You can see not too many um, factory flaws. I mean, there's like a little indention right there, but that's going to come out over time with wear. And then you got that right there. So really, really clean. And then there's the inside if you need to do any authenticating. Um, that's what the inside should look like. So yeah, and then let me show you the shoe trees. That way you, in case you get a pair, you wanna make sure they're real. These say die cut sock liner on the inside. And then that's what the shoe tree looks like on this one. And then you got your jump man, purple jump man on the inside right there. Which one thing that I will point out that I just noticed is that there's no, uh, there's no sizing Normally they put like a sticker on the inside with sizing and I'm not seeing that on these pairs and <clears throat> right there. And like I said, this was a, I got, I ended up picking these up at Foot Locker. So this is a legit pair, um, but you can see right there, no sizing number on the inside. So that's the first time I've seen that, um, which is kind of strange. And then you see, I got my uh, shoe tree right there. And then what's interesting is it's got a four written on there. I just did, I just noticed that on this one. So, I don't know. Anyway, well, cool. Well, are you going to pick these up or, or are you going to go after something else? I know the Jordan 4s come out next, um, next week, the Jordan 4 Thunders. That's definitely a, a pickup. Got to go after those, so. Anyway, just wanted to show you a quick review of these. That way you can see if you're interested. Um, try and get them on StockX while they're low. And if not, go pick you up a pair if you still can at your local retail shop. So, well, all right, everybody. Thank you for checking out JR Sneaker Show. God bless you, and I'm out.